Hi, it's Shadage, and today we'll be solving problem 2. Each new term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the previous two terms. By starting with 1 and 2, the first 10 terms will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. By considering the terms in the Fibonacci sequence whose values do not exceed 4 million, find the sum of the even valued terms. This problem is actually quite similar to problem one. We're taking some numbers, uh, uh, applying a filter to it, and then getting the sum. In this problem, the main thing is finding the Fibonacci sequence. Let's get started. Here, I have the Eclipse IDE. I'm gonna create a new Scala project called Euler. In Euler, we'll have a new package, Euler, and in Euler, we'll have a new Scala application, Euler 2. This is a Scala application. It's great using Scala applications because you can put the code you want to run right inside. Let's try it out. Hi. Let's run it. Hi. Yay. Let's get started. There are many ways to create the Fibonacci sequence using Scala. You can see one way I, uh, the original way I did it on GitHub. And today I'll show you the new way I uh, learned, which is using Scala streams. Streams are basically an element followed by another stream. And that stream is an element followed by another stream. We're gonna be using a method to create a stream and our method is gonna be recursive. Let's start by creating a, a stream that goes up by two. Def by two is gonna take a, a start of type int. And this is gonna be of type stream of int. And it's gonna be start pound colon colon, that means followed by, by two, start plus two. Yay, we made our first stream. Let's try it out. By two, start with one, dot take five. It'll take the first five elements and let's print all of them. For each, print Dylan. Let's run it. One, three, five, seven, nine. Yay, it worked. Let's get started with making our Fibonacci. This is gonna have two, uh, two uh, startings, X of type int, and y of type int. It's gonna have x followed by the Fibonacci with y and x plus y. So basically we're taking our x and we're carrying the y over to the, uh, to the recursive run of fib in which the y is gonna get added to the stream. We have our Fibonacci. It's so simple and short. So let's start to have a Fibonacci with one and two and take the first five elements. One, two, three, five, eight. Yes! We got the Fibonacci sequence. Now let's take a look back at the problem. We want the values that do not exceed 4 million and get the sum of the even value terms. 
So first, let's get all the even value terms. So dot, and we know how to get all the even value terms. We did that in problem one. Filter, which is gonna take a condition. We know how to make that too. N2, N, modulo, two, equals to zero. Let's print this. Two and eight. That's great. It's just what we wanted. Now we want the, uh, the sum. So instead of doing that for each println, we'll just do dot sum and assign it to a value answer. And we'll ha print the answer. So the sum would be 10, which is correct. And the values that do not exceed 4 million. Well, for starters, let's just do the ones that do not exceed 10. Take while, which is gonna take a condition. So let's do n to n less than or equal to 100. Let's print this. 44. And now let us, let us, um, we will, oh yeah, uh, th for this, let's swap it with four million and run it. That's our answer. Thank you.